Hey everyone, this is Fix Reef, and today we have this AI Hydra 26 HD in for repair. And I haven't actually started recording this video when I opened this light up, and that's why you see it in, in a partially disassembled state. But now that I started looking into this problem, into this light, I thought that it would be a good idea to make a video out of it. It's going to be a very short video, uh, bringing up an issue that I have actually brought up before with Hydras. And uh, this is just going to highlight, it's one of the worst cases I've seen so far. So uh, let me get started on this. So the light came in, in this almost mint condition, no salt creep, no dust anywhere, very well maintained light. And the issue was that one of the channels, specifically the blue channel, is not working well. All the other channels seem to work. So my initial assumption was perhaps a blown LED, a shorted LED is causing the blue channel to not work, or perhaps something with the board. Um, so the blue, not the royal blue, but the blue channel is these three LEDs right in the center in a row on both sides. And so when I plug it into power and I control it with through the AI um, app, I clearly could see that while all the other channels would light up very brightly at 100% intensity, these lights would be flickering and it would be dim, very, very dim, even at highest intensity. Again, multiple reasons for this type of failure. I decided to take it apart and take a look at what's going on. So let me show you what I found. I have before all of this, I've tested every individual LED. They all check out, they all work just fine. Um, again, the board looks in pretty much ideal ideal condition. Um, no um, no salt creep, no nothing burned, everything very clean, no rust anywhere. Let's set it aside and let's take a look at the connector board here. It's very difficult to see right now the problem because we are so zoomed out so much. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Remember I discussed the issue with these connectors. So these connectors go over the it's a connector board, so they go over the connectors on the main board. There are three of them here, and also three connectors on each of the LED clusters, so about six. So many, many connections to make. Now let's take a look at the condition of the connectors. Let's take a look at this one. Can you see anything odd with this connector? Can you see anything that, that might be a little off? You can see that the connector is bent this way, not to the side of any kind. It's just, instead of being straight along the board, it's angled like this. What this angle indeed, this was done clearly during the manufacturing, because again, no one messed with this board before, um, is that because the pins are so short, you can kind of see that this pin is barely connecting to the pad. Let's take a look at this under the microscope. Okay, here is our connector. You can, again, kind of see that it's off on um, this area. It's not exactly proper. And look at this. This is barely making the connection. And this pin over here is moving. And I have brought this up again and again and again with Hydras. It's the problem that many of them have. Look at, in general, the quality of soldering. Even when the pins are straight, um, the pins that connect to the pads are kind of floating above. They're not really moving, so there is not a whole lot that's wrong with this. But um, a slightest a vibration is going to make them come off because this solder is not really holding onto a whole lot. That connector, same with this connector, same with this connector, and every single connector on this board. And that's why things fail. Just look at this. I bet that if I try to press hard enough, it's going to come off. Maybe some of them already did. And there will be no connectivity. And this is exactly why the blue channel was not running at full intensity and barely working. Because there was still barely connection from the path to the pin and therefore to the board that, that runs the LEDs. Um, so uh, it couldn't run a whole lot of current to run those LEDs. If I press it hard enough, the LEDs would work. If I pull it away, the blue channel will stop working. So for this repair, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to make sure that everything is sorted properly. I will go through all of these connectors and make sure that there is enough sorter on every single one in every single pin here. And uh, once I'm done with this, we'll see if the light is going to work again. So let's start with the fending connector. I'm going to put some flux on these pins everywhere. And just soak everything in solder so that I know that things are going to work. Just like that. What do you think now? Number one, this connector is not going anywhere. And number two, even though it's off slightly off center, there is still plenty of solder to hold every single pin together. So off the camera, I'm going to work on all of this, um, all of these pins and we'll come back and um, have it tested. All right, so I've um, resoldered every single connector on this board. You can see that now uh, the solder is covering every single pin on every single connector, and it's much, much more solid. And um, the uh, ability to transfer current is going to be a lot higher. So now let's look at this same board, but now it's the main board same exact problem look at this this pin is easily moving under my pick how much current do you think it's going to handle when it's so insecure this one belongs to a different channel but look at this this is the same way this is holding together but these two pins are these two pins are gone or disconnected this did not happen during the during regular use. I can see how it can happen after some vibration, but it should not happen due to vibration. This type of things should not happen on a light like this, not at this price point. So we're going to fix this as well. And you can see, by the way, that somebody already tried to solder two pins over here. I'm not sure if this was the previous owner or perhaps somebody at AI who uh, saw an issue with the assembly and manufacturing. Um, but 
these things should not be happening. Well, just like with the connector board, I'm going to have to go through this entire main board and make sure that every single pin here is sorted, sorted properly. And then we will assemble it again and try um, testing. Okay, so now we have the connector board and the main board sorted properly. Um, let's um, uh, reassemble and test again. I will need to um, connect to it and program it to, to run different channels. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the light is on. You can see that every single LED in this light is on. It's not actually even on at 100% because I don't want it to be too blinding into the camera, but I tested it with all of the channels on, individual channels uh, on as well at 100%. Everything checks out, uh, including the red channel, including the blue channel, and all the problems that we've had with it previously. So this light is now fixed. So this repair is complete, and it shows uh, consistent manufacturing defects in Hydra's uh, lights all across, in part because of a poor decision or poor design choices with so many connectors. They're just reaping what they sowed uh, over the years, but um, nonetheless, I mean, I've seen again and again and again this type of failures, and I just wanted to make sure that uh, everyone's aware that that is a possibility with the slides, that nothing else literally can be wrong. The light can be in such a great condition as it is right now and still not work properly because not everything has been soldered correctly on the main board, on the connector board, potentially even on LED clusters. Well, this completes the, uh, the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.